Hey, how are you guys and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC and improve your FPS in Lost Soul aside dropped recently. This guide will be covering all of the best windows and game settings so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro. Alright, the first thing is the best windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and then come down to personalization. Head over to colors and turn off transparency effects as this will allow windows to disable surfaces that appear translucent. Then you wanna have to come down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, it consumes your CPU and RAM resources and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Then go back to gaming again, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background allowing you to improve your FPS. After that you want to have to go down to graphics and over here enable optimizations for windowed games as this will reduce input latency by using advanced features in compatible games. Click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling since this will utilize your primary graphic card over your CPU based graphics. Then you want to have to click on add desktop app button over here and then you want to have to go down to the download location of your game. Once you find your game select it and then go over to Project LSA, Binaries, Win64 and then you'll find the Project LSA, Steam, Win64, Shipping.exe. Click on the Add button and then you wanna have to scroll down to find it. Once you find it, select it and then for your GPU preference, select high performance over here and this will reduce all kind of power saving features that might be limiting your FPS. Once that is done, close your settings. Next step is compatibility settings and for that open up Steam, right click on your game and then head over to manage, click on browse local files. Once you're over here, right click on lostsoulaside.exe, click on its properties and then click on compatibility. You have to select disable full screen optimizations over here, click on change high DPI settings and select this option, click on ok and apply. After that you wanna have to do the same step under the project LSA folder, binaries, win64 and then select the shipping exe folder and then select the project LSA steam win64 shipping, right click on that, head over to its properties, compatibility and then you wanna have to click on disable full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings and select this option click on ok apply and close it this will reduce unwanted input latency if you are planning to use frame generation before moving ahead i want to tell you guys that lost soul aside is a heavy game and if you guys are playing it on a hard disk drive possible chances are that you might be facing performance issues and for that i want to introduce you guys to 40 digs partition manager which is a one-stop shop solution if you guys are migrating your operating system or your games from a hard disk drive to an SSD. Simply come to its official website and over here click on the free download button. 40DIG Partition Master offers you a wide variety of features which includes cloning disk, migrating your operating system or applications, taking a backup of your computer, convert your disk from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR. Then it has partition management if you guys want to create a separate volume for your games or if you guys want to resize your partitions. Other than that, it also offers partition recovery if you guys have lost a partition or your important data and if you guys want to upgrade your windows from 10 to 11. It also offers you a series of toolkit which will help you to optimize the performance of your disk drives. Today I want to focus on cloning our disk which includes our game from a hard disk drive to an SSD. For that you have to click on clone disk and head over to clone partition. Over here you wanna have to select your disk which has your game installed. For example I have my game in the F drive as we have seen earlier. Select disk 2 which has the F drive over here since it is a hard disk drive. Simply select F and then you wanna have to shift it to another disk. Disk 4 consists of my SSD and it has about 500 GBs left. And then you wanna have to choose the volume in which you wanna have to copy this game. Select next and it says that there is no available space. In that case, you can use partition management. Once you've selected your correct source and the correct target, click on next and it will do the task in literally 10 to 15 minutes. It's as simple as that. Once again, 4DDIG Partition Manager offers wide variety of features which you guys can go and check it out for yourself and use this application to optimize your drives and gain advantage in your games. I have left a free download link to 4DDIG's Partition Manager right in the description below. Go check it out for yourself and let me know. Now moving ahead. Next step is 
MS config and for that simply search for MS config over here and open system configuration up. Head over to the boot section and click on advanced option. Click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. Click on the OK button and then select no GUI boot. Click on the apply button over here then head over to services. Select hide all Microsoft service and then disable all kind of unwanted RGB fan control service, browser update service and any other service which you feel is unnecessary and you're using it in the background. This will reduce the number of processors processes running in the background and allowing your PC to improve your FPS. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editor. Search for the edit group policy over here and then you will have to maximize the screen. Head over to computer configuration, administrative templates, windows components, app privacy and right over here you will find let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open this policy up and ensure that this is enforced. Over here for the default for all applications, select force deny and then click on apply. This will deny all of the applications running in the background allowing your PC to perform your games smoothly. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply press your windows key and then search for create a restore point over here. Press enter and this will open up system properties. Select your local disk C, click on the create button and over here type in lost soul aside, press enter and this will create a restore point on your PC. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, close it and close system properties. The next step is lost soul aside FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Here you'll find in six very simple folders which are really useful. First one is LSA priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. To apply this, you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and this will allow your PC to utilize all of the resources on high priority while you're playing the games. Next is CPU priority in which I have left AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority and to choose that you need to find out which CPU you are using. I have an Intel CPU so I need to double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Could be different for you so you guys can apply it and this will import the best D word settings for your processor. Next is RAM optimization in which I have left a lot of registries which are related to RAM. Over here these are presets. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to double click and apply the 32 GB RAM registry. Could be different for you so you can apply it from this list and if you guys want to reset it back use the reset to default registry over here fourth one is disable unwanted services in which i have left all of these services which are absolutely useless but they are still running in the background and consuming your cpu's resources if you use any bluetooth or printer services leave these two and disable every single one of them over here to optimize the performance of your pc then you have revert registries over here if you guys want to re-enable any of them back again fifth folder is power plan settings in which i have left import ultimate performance power plan you wanna have to right click on it as administrator and this will run a PowerShell command on your PC which will add a new power plan into your list. To access that power plan you need to double click on the power plans button and then click on show additional plans. Select ultimate performance over here and once that is done simply close it. Sixth folder over here is programs in which I have left clean temporary files dot batch you wanna have to right click on it as administrator. This will politely ask you to press any key to continue, simply press enter and this will delete all of the temporary and prefetch files of your PC which is absolutely recommended to do it every now and then. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0, simply right click on it as administrator. This software allows you to change your GPU interrupt priority and to do that simply find your GPU in this list, click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high and click on the apply button. This will allow your GPU to handle more interrupts without overclocking it. Last is quick CPU setup and you need to run this setup on your PC and open up quick CPU. Once it opens up, what you're looking for over here is the core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and the performance indexes over here. You might want to slide all of them to 100% to ensure that your PC is using maximum throttle and your core parking is set to disable. This will allow all of the cores to use while you are playing the games. Simply slide all of them to 100% and once that is done click on the apply button and simply close the software. Next step is disabling sysmain and for that simply search for services.msc and open it up. Press S on your keyboard and then look for something called sysmain. Right click on that, head over to its properties and for the startup type set this thing to disabled and if this service is already running click on stop, click on apply and close it. You might want to restart your PC once and the basic fundamental of doing this step is because sysmain is a process 
process which uses up to 15 and 20 percent of your cpu and disabling that will help you to free up that resource and utilize it while you're playing your games and sysmin is not really necessary for your pc so you guys can feel free to do that and if that doesn't work out well for you guys right click on it again head over to properties and for the startup type set this into automatic and you can start the service once all of that is done drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game press your escape key and then you want to have to head over to system then go over to options and then come down to the display settings make sure that you're using the monitor as your native monitor on borderless you can change your resolution but i would prefer keeping it to the normal resolution according to your monitor you have frame rate limit you wanna have to turn this thing off and vsync just check it out if this is turned on this might be limiting your fps and you might wanna turn this thing off then come down to the graphic settings and over here for the view distance you can go ahead with medium anti-aliasing quality i have gone with high shadow quality medium or low both works well texture quality should be set to high effects quality i've gone with medium post processing quality always set this thing to low in any game no matter what then you have super resolution sampling i have dlss on my graphic card if you're using an nvidia graphic card use dlss if you guys have an amd based graphics you can go with fsr for the super sampling quality you can go with balanced or quality both of them works absolutely fine frame generation if that is available for you turn this thing on and low latency mode should be turned on as well ray tracing should be turned off press enter to apply these settings on your pc and then you can return back to your game with the highest fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers if you guys are not a part of the channel membership yet join the channel membership because it really helps me out a ton and we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out